Hello everyone. This is Sajjad Khan from Microcare Academy. I would like to welcome you to my upcoming YouTube series where we will be discussing and demonstrating everything you need to know about the .NET Core, Entity Framework Core, SQL Server and the C Shop, Bootstrap and the ASP.NET MVC Core. We will be diving into a hands-on experience on a project that will provide you with a practical understanding of the, these technologies. So stay tuned for an immersed learning experience. Let's take a look what we will be learning in the upcoming series. In this series, we will start learning from the Microsoft SQL Server. We will see about the introduction of database and how we can able to create a database and we will be going on adding some tables and we will see about the primary key and the foreign key references and we will learn about writing some query commands and most importantly we will learn about the joins where we can join multiple tables and fetch the data from the multiple multiple tables and we will display the result after that we will look on the entity framework core what is actually the object relational mapping what is entity framework and we will be talking about one of the approach is the database first approach and we will have a detailed explanations on db context class and then finally we will be start creating the asp.net core project at the same time we will be learning about what is introduction about the .NET Core, what is the MVC architecture. Once we create a project and we will see the default project architecture. And then we will be uh, adding the dependencies for the Entity Framework Core library from the NuGet. And then we are generating the entities through the database first approach. And then we are adding the controllers, views, layout file. And then we will be adding multiple action methods on different controllers. And we will create some models and we will validate some data on the forms by using the data annotations. And most importantly, we will be learning about the state management. That is the sessions, the query strings and also the model binding, which is a very important concept for the ASP.NET MVC. Hi guys, as I said earlier that we are going to have a hands-on experience on a project or application. Let's see what we are going to develop here. First of all, we will have a login screen where a customer can enter the details and then he will click on log on. If the customer is a new customer, he doesn't have an account, then he will click on the create account. Then the system will be redirecting to the create account form where he will enter his details, password, email, address, and some details, and he will click on continue. Then the system will be redirecting again back to the login screen where he will again enter his credentials and click on log on. Then the system will authenticate his credentials. Once the system was authenticated, then a user will be entering inside an application. So we will have a dashboard where we are showing some categories of a products, which is similar to like an Amazon here. And we will have three links, home, products, and orders. Once the user clicks on a product, then we will display all the products list. And inside this view, we have a multiple options. That is, I am displaying all the list of a products and I can able to add a new product and I will have the items or a products inside my cart. So now once user clicks on add product, then the system will be redirecting to a product editor where I will able to enter a new product details. And I have an option to edit a product and also I can update the price and some details and save it. And the user can able to add a products to a cart. The counter will be increment automatically once I click on add to cart. And once I click on the cart itself, then we will be redirecting to the cart details where we will see 
all the products that has been added to a cart and we will have the grand total of the total price and the user can click on proceed checkout where it will be redirecting to a place and order so we will have some details about uh, total orders and he can we can able to give some discount and we can select what is the payment type and once i click on place order a order will be placed and we, it will be displayed all the orders of a customer that has been requested uh, inside the application and we have a logout that user can click on logout so it will be redirecting him back to the login screen so we are going to work with different approaches here by using the jquery ajax to fetch the counter for the uh, cart and also uh, we are using the state management here session to to keep the customer details once he log on in the session so that i can able to know what are the uh, items that has been saved inside the cart for this customer before and so on so this uh, web application or a project it's a very good uh, it will helpful for those students who are pursuing their uh, internships or they are pursuing their graduations and also those students who are looking for a job in the IT industry or who want to become a dotnet developer and also those who are a freshers in the IT industry they want to understand how a web application will work so we are going to uh, we are going to work on different technologies as i said we are going to have some experience on the sql server entity framework core mvc uh, concepts and also some bootstrap and jquery and little bit javascript as well so i request everyone to stay tuned for the upcoming youtube series where we will go through step by step to uh, build this application so at the end i request everyone to subscribe the channel so that you will get the notifications for the upcoming uh, videos thank you everyone have a nice day